G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, where we're going to continue building Salil Rail. Um, this week we're going to start the planking of the ship. Um, I've already I've fixed it up very well. But I've sanded the frames so that the planks can sit um, evenly against the hull. Done that on both sides. And also pretty big ship, <laughs> it's hard to get it around. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, it doesn't come out very well, but it's it's sanded lightly around here. It's actually not too um, steep a change on this ship. Uh, so I didn't have to sand it a great deal, mainly towards the bottom, the top top of the ship is reasonably straight so I don't, don't have to do much at all with it uh, so yeah there wasn't a lot of sanding it was mainly around the front of the ship now what we're going to be doing I'll get this camera to show a bit better um, these um, well, first plank is exactly 50 millimeters from the top of the frame to the bottom of that plank. So all these early positions have to line up. And if you get that right, when you put the um, front plank on as it comes around the bow it will sit exactly level with the uh, top of that little bit of decking that's there um, another thing that I've done is I don't know if you can see it I've actually sanded a little bit of an angle onto each part of the um, boards so that when they're in place they will lock together evenly evenly so it's particularly helpful when it's a thin frame and you're wanting to get half and half on there by having them overlap slightly just gives a little bit better bond when you um, glue it now with this when it's on here what I'll be doing is I'll be gluing the first um, what, four or five frames let that dry and then I'll push up the end of this board just a little bit and matching it with this board just so it comes out nice and smooth you don't have that sudden change in direction for the rear plank so that's the plan uh, I'll just take that out of there so what we'll do is we'll get a bit of um, glue on here uh, one second I haven't actually set up my glue pot okay that's done so I'll just put a little bit of glue I don't want to move these because this is uh, what I'm using to line everything up Once I've got the uh, rest of, or oh, once I've set up this very first row, um, how far do I just do that one? Um, once the first one's set up, after that I won't need to use a guide anymore, so it should be a lot better. Let's slip this back in.
I shouldn't actually have glued that last two because as I said I want to bend those up a little bit so I'll just glue to there push these in to hold it just double check that nothing's moved Move that up a tad. There we go. Okay, so I'll just let that one dry because it's important just to get that one in the correct position. I so will let it dry. Then push this one, these two, up a little bit, and then we'll put the um, uh, plank to the rear of the ship and also around the uh, bow. So that shouldn't take too long, and then we'll continue. Okay, I'm ready to um, put the next board on. Same as the uh, last one, I've trimmed, well, not trimmed, but sand it down one edge so it slips in to the end of the last plank uh, I've only got these clipped on here as a guide to where it has to go after this levels on uh, I won't have to um, um, use them anymore because we'll um, have a guide by just having the last plank against it to hold and this back bit just sits just below move it up a little bit just below this um, cut out at the bottom here and then that will all sit nicely as you can see it's nice and has that slight curve towards the bat, um, the stern so it just lines up nicely um, I'll reset the uh, ship and we'll uh, put the plank around the bow okay this uh, going around the bow is going to be a little bit um, more difficult uh, I'll still use the white glue um, round uh, this section through here I'll just use the clips to hold it uh, around the front here of the bow I'll probably end up um, putting some little brass nails in to hold it hard up against it it's uh, reasonably tight and I don't want it to pull away from the ship so see I've already uh, bent it if you want me to make a video on that just let me know in the comments so again sitting up over the top a little bit of that one just put a clip on there to hold it comes around um, the front I'll use a couple of uh, brass nails oops it's clever there we go
I don't push them in all the way because I will actually remove them once the glue has dried. Another nail. And just make sure it's nice and level with the um, planking. actually have to be uh, trimmed a bit later because the um, uh, what do you call it like the uh, fourth keel will come around and sit up into there so there'll actually be a gap between the two sides of the planking I'll actually put one more nail over this side It's popped out. There we are. I'll probably end up nailing that place as well by the looks. It's not, it doesn't want to sit there. that's halfway across the um, frame I may actually have to put a bit of uh, super glue or CA glue into there just to make sure it holds the rest of it should be okay now so um, yeah I'll just put some CA glue in here we'll let this dry and then after this thing should move a lot um, quicker so we won't be long Okay, um, I actually recorded putting this second uh, layer of planking on but unfortunately I've deleted it because um, there was way too much swearing involved. I've found these three millimeter frames, if you push a pin into it, a lot of the time they're splitting. They're not good quality at all. Uh, they're just way too thin. They really should be four or five millimeters at least. Um, so what I've decided to do, instead of using pins, I'm going to put super glue on the frames, but I'm going to put white glue just on the bottom of the plank above it. Just Let's see if I can get that back. Um, I'm going to put the white glue underneath the top frame just so it's got something to grip onto as well. Um, so I'll put the white glue on first. It's not normally the way I do it. Normally I use the white glue, use pins to hold it, and then remove the pins once it's dry, but it's just not cooperating at all with these um, frames. I think um, a lot of these companies they try and do things on the cheap, and they still charge a premium price, and uh, it just doesn't work. There's always a cost to it. So I'll just sit that into there.
I also need to make a better uh, stand for this ship. I've got a building slip, but it just doesn't fit in there. The length is fine, it's just way too many braces on it, which just doesn't allow it to sit into there. What I might actually do, I've been trying to work out the best way of filming planking because there's going to be a few weeks of this. Um, once we've got the first three layers here, we have to plank towards the top. And uh, tell the truth, I'm just going to run out of things to say, I think. So what I might actually end up doing is I'll just film a fair bit of the planking, but I'll just... Um, um, play it on like a faster speed or something to shorten the videos it's going to become very monotonous very quickly so um, we might try that in the next video or even maybe after this plank but yeah pretty disappointed in the um, quality of the wood supplied in this kit but there's a lot of companies seem to be going that way, unfortunately. Okay, so that's holding. So what I've been doing is once I finish one plank, I do the other side uh, and then come back to filming this side. So um, I'll do that and then be back shortly. Okay, we've reached the um, point in the instructions where we changed the direction of the planking. They only actually wanted us to go uh, three planks down below that um, bow deck, I guess you'd call it. Um, and then from this point out, we just plank to the very top uh, before we go back to the uh, bottom of the ship um, so I'm not going to do any uh, real commentary on it this is actually all pretty easy there's no bending whatsoever down here and there is only a very slight bend where we go around the corner I'm not really sure even if I'll have to um, uh, use my soldering iron to bend around there or not yet so we'll have a look at that shortly um, so we'll do a few more layers and uh, I'll get back to you okay another update we're um, one board away from being to the top of um, these frames 
Um, I've had a measure. It's supposed to be level with the top, but they're about one and a half millimeters off that. So I'll probably just um, trim the top of them just so it is level when we get to that point. Um, once we've completed that, we only plank as far as the uh, furthest point of this deck and then the same on each deck just covering that uh, uh, almost like a porch area I guess over the top of the wall there um, so I'm going to uh, actually film the next layer so let's bring that in a bit closer uh, I always start with the middle plank um, it goes between starting between frame 11 and frame 12 so this one I'm up to frame 11 so I just get that halfway between the plank there and then down this end I just measure where I'm going to uh, finish that one and just take off the excess So I just been putting a little bit of white glue on top of each board. And then where the board's gonna butt up against the side, a little bit of super glue. So once it does grab, I just clean up that bit of white glue that's um, come out from between the boards. longer than the stern of the ship that'll all be trimmed off later so this one I don't actually have to um, cut down to size and then again a bit of white glue on top Super glue, CA glue, whatever you want to call it. ship has actually been pretty easy really uh, bottom half will be a different story of course I'll probably actually go into a bit more detail when I do the bottom half because um, 
the bow of the ship and the stern naturally are thinner than the middle frames of the ship so you actually have to um, trim down the width of the boards as at those points Just do the front. I actually do have to um, uh, bend them a little bit. So what I do, that's the point where I'm going to start bending. And the sharpest part of the bend is just through there. And then I just leave a bit of excess on there. So I'll just soak that for a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll bend it. Okay, I've just wet that board for just a few minutes. Just take my little uh, soldering iron and don't have to put a lot of pressure on. Just a little bit where I did the first mark and then where the main bend is just a little bit more just to get a little bit of a curve on it not much and I'll just use the heat to dry that out a bit I actually have, do have a um, proper jig that I can use with this or oh, I did because um, the dog decided it would be something great to chew on so I, I need to get myself a new one at some point just double check that that's right yep that goes around lovely and then again we we'll just uh, start with a little bit of white glow on the top Yeah, with that uh, part that comes to the top of the frame, I'm not sure whether to trim that or whether I'll just do a um, thin strip so it's nice and even across there. I'll think about that while I keep planking. There's no rush at this point to work that out. So that's another layer completed. Uh, I'll keep going in this way and then once I reach the point where I'm going to end this video I'll do one more update and um, yeah we'll uh, finish it there so we'll see how we go how much we get done. Okay, we've got this side of the um, ship plank, the upper part of it. Um, I ended up just putting a very thin strip across the top to make it level with the um, uh, ribs that protrude above the deck. I'm still going to do a little bit of sanding on the uh, edges, but I have done sanded the rear of the ship flush, and also. 
grab it. And also around here where the side joins with the front, still needs a little bit more. We don't have to get too carried away because um, there is a second layer of planking to go over uh, the majority of the upper part of the ship. Um, so now what I'll do uh, before the next um, video comes out, I'll finish the other side and then we will be um, placing a, a uh, grating onto the top mid deck. Um, hopefully I find a better way of uh, doing planking videos in future because I just wasn't sure how to uh, show it because it does become pretty uh, monotonous in the long run and this is going to take quite a while all up so um, I hope you join me next time cheers